Okay, so I uh, figured right now was a good time to kind of walk through my new truck camper rig. Been talking about walking through the video. I'm kind of waiting for the weather to change a little bit, so get a little warmer. Um, so now is a good time to put my coffee down. To do that, I think. So let's talk about uh, the sleeping platform first. Um, so I left everything pretty much the same layout I had before. Uh, the biggest thing I did was I raised this up to 10 inches to give me space for storage because I didn't have a lot. Before I couldn't get, I had, I think it was seven inches. So I couldn't, by the time you did all the, everything was here and I didn't have enough space to get even a, like a soup can right there. Um, so I'll have a ton of space in here. I have the extended cab, so it's a 74 inch bed. So my mattress and everything fits in here perfectly. Um, so I have underneath here, I have some Reflectix for the back glass and I have Velcro, so this is for privacy. I've also done Reflectix on the side windows and they're all, the, the front and the back all have, you can see where you can Velcro them up and they stick. Um, I did the, the carpeted head uh, liner and it makes it easy to uh, do hook and uh, loop to, to snap everything on the sides. But anyway, let's get to um, the meat and potatoes, which is basically the sleeping platform. So I have a pull out table that I use. So a pull out table that I store underneath the mattress along with a little pad. This just helps if you're getting in and out of the truck, like to have something to put your your knees on. Okay, so let's get to the slide. It's got three spaces. And like I said, now I can stand up all of my stuff. So I have propane back here. Went and upgraded my water filtration. So this is a gravity fed platypus. Uh, the people at Bigfoot Bushcraft sent me some fire starters. So I've been playing around with those for a little bit. I have fire extinguisher and fuel for my backpacking stove, which is back here. I'll be taking that a little bit later. Um, tomorrow, some rope, uh, tire in the very bottom, which I loaned to a guy a couple days ago when he blew out his tire. And then I go into food. Um, so I try to keep everything in sealed containers like this. Talked about using these in a different video. Some backpacking meals. Coffee's always important. And then just general snacks. Instant coffee. This is going on a backpacking trip next week. Or actually in a couple days. Uh, Nike Spam. Sandwich bags. Instant rice. And then a lot of plastic bags for trash. So starting at the back, this is the stuff that I use the least amount. So propane, hopefully never need the fire extinguisher, fire plugs, water filtration, and again, to like food, things you're using every day, uh, coffee, snacks, things like that. And then the front storage is basically stuff I use every day. Uh, cooking, coffee, utensils, probably gonna need bug spray at some point in time. I keep my headlamp in the front, uh, as well as a secondary flashlight. So I have two of those spices. All that kind of stuff goes in front. I have put all of my utensils, anything that won't fit in this, and this one, and anything sharp like knives and things. Um, and I just keep that. It's kind of handy. You can take it out and carry it with you. Uh, sometimes I take my stove out and I'll put it here, and I can put my utensils there, and I can cook things like that. Keep a couple buffs. These make little, you know, the old ones. Um, I use them for drying rags. Just got done cooking breakfast, so my pan's still a little, a little wet, but I have a frying pan. I use one of these as a cutting board and one to eat on. They're just little plastic plates. Another little uh, pot and a strainer. This little board right here is pretty handy if you're needed. Um, like yesterday, I put it off the edge and set my stove on top of it and then my propane rested on it. Uh, and also, when I, I took my jerry can and water can holder off this time, but it fits in the space on top. So it makes a nice little, if you're sitting back here uh, with your chair and just need a place to set a drink or whatever, it's kind of cool. Just a little little platform. Um, so anyway, that's the bulk of the storage. 
I thought about doing double, but I still like that I can take everything out on this side uh, as opposed to it, and I can crawl in at night when I'm getting undressed and dressed, taking my shoes off, and things like that. I have a space, uh, and these go further up. I just don't have it pushed up because I've been getting in and out of it. Oh, that's pretty good. So on this one, I have some more food, potatoes, apples, flip bars, bread, just more food that won't fit in here. Nothing, nothing super fancy. This is my clothes. I've got enough in here for a couple of weeks, but I also have my inverter in here uh, and a battery charger. So at the end of the day, when I come back and I need to charge my GoPro batteries, I can take my inverter out, plug up the battery, and I try to have that near the back because you're getting in and out of it and I don't want to have to crawl all the way to the front to get stuff like battery charges and things like that. I've also, uh, I didn't bring my solar panel, my portable solar panels, but on my long trips I have that and I put that in the front. And basically I can run my cables through the cord here and I can set my truck in the shade and I can set my portable solar in the sun. It makes it kind of convenient as opposed to constantly having it on the top. One of the reasons why I don't have anything up here right now is because I have a kayak that I bring with me. Last year I didn't get to take it, but I take it on a lot of my trips with me. Um, so that's, uh, I'll leave that space open right now. Might get a basket depending on the trips out west whenever you're not using the space. Like you're not gonna take a kayak out there. So I might get a basket for a little bit extra storage, but I'm not 100% sold on that just yet. The other thing I've done is I made sure to leave access inside what I need. The other thing I've done is I've gone ahead and put my mosquito net back in. So I just got it velcroed up, put some ties in so you can tie it out of the, out of the way. Same thing here. And it kinda, I just kind of store it back behind the reflectix when I'm not using it. This was extremely useful Colorado last year uh, in the spring when the mosquitoes are out. Hadn't been too bad here. Bugs aren't really a factor right now. The thing I did is I made sure I left room on the side here for my tools so I have my shovel. I've been using these a lot. A little saw, a little hatchet uh, to get through firewood. Okay, so the other thing I've done is left uh, my tension rods on and I got a little fastener here and I just basically tension rod that down to the bed of the truck. When you're driving four service roads and uneven surfaces, the, the bed wants to jump around. So this is an easy way, convenient way, just to kind of tighten that down. Made sure to leave room so you can see I built the bed to the frame, but I moved everything over. This leaves me my room for my, my tools and things. So I can put my saws in here. Hatchet. My shovel goes in. and everything is out of the way, easy to get to. Okay, so I also have a marine uh, deep cycle battery. Basically, it's used that to do GoPro batteries. And on my really, really long trips, I use it to run my laptop, basically just to keep the battery charged while I move files from my SD card to uh, removable hard drives, and I just keep those with me. Anyway, moving to inside the cab. I got an extended cab. Uh, like you see, you can see the doors open out opposite each other. Really like it. This is a 65 quart Orion cooler. Fits in here nicely. Uh, I have, like I said, helped a guy out a couple weeks ago. He needed a change of tire. So that's my hydraulic tool. Rod tubes fit in there nicely. I keep my way waiting stuff and my fishing stuff in the front. Net, that's trash. Try to keep everything here that I get in on a daily basis. I have my hat that I wear when I'm reporting, uh, and then just as all fishing stuff, trash comes out when I stop at a gas station. I'll show you how I did my seat. These are smaller seats than a full size truck, so I needed a way to keep my cooler and everything kind of level on it, and I'll show you what I've done. This is a uh, jump starter. I've needed that a couple times before, so nothing super fancy. Okay, so here's the I got water. I have two of those. I'm only bringing one on this trip because I can refill it pretty quickly with the stream so close. But I have another one that's blue exactly like that and also have a brown one that I bought uh, that I use basically 
to do dishes with. I, I fill it up in the stream. And basically it just, it's a way to carry water with me when I'm, it's six gallons. And when I'm away from a stream and I can't, I don't have access to water, I can fill it up and carry it with me. I don't drink out of it so much. I have two blue ones for drinking water um, that are easy to refill. But anyway, so what I've done on the back, you can kind of see the seats are kind of the bucket top style. So there's not a ton of space here. So I built a platform and I just set everything on there. So my water bottle goes up, some streamers. These are my waders. I brought them this trip. Wasn't sure if I'd need them. This is just rechargeable batteries, GoPro chargers. It all fits back here kind of nicely. Uh, air pump. And then I have my traction boards, which I use to level up my truck when I need to. And my old truck, I've used it several times to get out of some slick situations, uh, especially riverbanks, things like that, where the water goes up and comes down. And then you have like this slicked out clay muddy area gotten stuck there a couple times <laughs> but anyway that's pretty much it i have my tarp set up right now it usually goes over here but i like that i can leave it like this trip i've left it because this area is kind of busy um and it serves as a placeholder also on the back of the truck i've done a video on that to show what how i set it up and use it um but i'm storing my firewood underneath there because it hasn't rained a lot, but it's been raining a little bit. Uh, and you never know, some days it says there's no rain and then it just blows out. So this keeps it dry. Nice little, so it's a firewood saver, spot holder, canopy, sunshade. Uh, and just $7 painter's poles and some rope and 10 stakes. And I've been, uh, it's helped me out a lot. Going on my second season with it, I don't have any, any complaints. Last thing is I have my rod holders this trip. So, um, wasn't able to get that on my last truck because I got the camper so last minute. I just didn't have time to put anything on top. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, holler at me. I think I went through everything. Uh, biggest thing for me was to make sure I had more storage because I needed it in the bed as opposed to like in the back seats and things like that. So now I have everything where I need it. Get to it easily. Thanks for watching the video, guys.